uh, I believe, up on. There, there we go. go. <laughs> Someone at uh, Stephen's office is on top of things. Learn on the fly. Yeah. So, well, we got another minute, so we're going to have a minute of us just jibber jabbering for a second. So, is everybody having a good Labor or Memorial Day today? This is probably the best dial days of the year. People are definitely home. All right, we got one more minute, and then we'll get started here. <clears throat> we'll make it, uh, we're not going to make it too short, but it's not going to be uh, super long, is it? You know, a lot of people are spending time with their families today, probably barbecuing, but the smart ones are either out there running business or making phone calls. Uh, like I said, today is probably one of the best days to make phone calls. And it's 2 o'clock on the nose, so we'll get started here. Uh, my name is David Ayer. I'm with uh, Family First Life Paradise. Um, yeah. I've, I've been in the business for about uh, 12 years. Um, I've been with Family First Life for five years. Probably, well, not probably. It is the best, best decision I've ever made. And we're going to be talking about uh, doing phone scripts. Uh, my phone scripts are basically pretty straight to the point and, and simple. Um, there's not much difference between different lead types. I'll go through those and uh, kind of give you an idea of what I do and what's been successful for me. Um, I don't know how many of you guys really enjoy dialing the phones. Um, I used to say, oh, it doesn't bother me. I don't mind it, but I hate it. Uh, every every dial day, I just my wife will tell me she goes, "What do you do? What are you doing? You're you're making excuses not to die." I go, oh, I just gotta you know wash these dishes over here for a minute. I gotta bake some breakfast. And, but you know when you, once you get get through all that and you start dialing and you just gotta realize every time you pick up your phone, you're making money. Um, a good a good book to get. I'm not big on advocating for reading books, but Go for the no. It uh, talks about the more no's you get, the closer you get to the yes. And so when you're do doing your dials and you're getting all these rejections or you're getting hang up, you're getting uh, people answering the phone, you just got to remember the next one is going to be the one that's going to be that, that high dollar premium you're going to end up getting. Um, so basically what we'll do is we'll kind of role play um, the mailers that would they would get are through like MailPro and some of the other companies. Let me see if you can see this one here. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't know how to do it with the Hold it, way. hold it real steel. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. So the mailers through MailPro. I don't get the background. Wait a minute. There it goes. Okay, well, so much bad idea. But anyhow, basically what it is is uh, it's a buy per lead. And you set it up through um, FFL leads. And uh, basically what it is is there are mailers that go out to um, to uh, people that just purchased a home or just refinance a home. And basically what it says, it says, hey, you've got the uh, ability to apply for uh, mortgage protection, which is a life insurance policy that pays off your home in the event of death, disability, critical illness. And then you also have the ability to get your money back at the end of the term. Um, uh, those ones are pretty, pretty straightforward when you call them up. Um, the way I call them is I'll just call them up. I'll, I'll role play with you, Ron. All right. All right. Ring, ring. Hello. Ron. Uh, yeah. Hey, Ron, this is David. Um, I'm not a telemarketer. I'm just getting back with you. Uh, we recently mailed you a little postcard. It was for mortgage protection benefits. And that's the insurance that pays your house if you were to pass away. Mm -hmm. um, and so your family can keep the home. Does that ring a bell? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 
okay, Ron, great. I'm the field underwriter for Mojave County, and my job is just to get that information out to you. Um, I just need to verify a few things. Uh, you put down on here that you're a non-smoker. You're 64 years of age. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Okay. And then you put down your wife is uh, 72. She's also on tobacco. Is that correct? Uh, no, she's 62. Oh, 62. I'm sorry. I, I didn't read this right. I apologize. And then you put down that your address is uh, 2675 Acosta Drive. Yes, that's correct. Okay, great. Like I said, the reason for my call is just to get this information out to you, uh, see what you qualify for. It's totally up to you what you do with the information. Um, are you working or are you retired? Uh, I'm retired. My wife still works. Okay, great. What time is your wife normally home from work? Um, uh, typically 3.34. 3.34. Okay, fantastic. All right, like I said, I've only got about 10 minutes. Um, I've got a time, I've got about 4.30 or I've got a 5.15 available. Which time will work best for the two of you? Um, let's see here. Yeah, uh, 4.30 would work. Okay, 4.30. All right. Like I said, um, I have your address is 2667 La Costa Drive. Um, and what was your wife's name? Uh, Margaret. Margaret. Okay, just do me a favor and let Margaret know that I'll be there for sure. I drive a black Honda Civic. And uh, is there any reason why you guys would not be home tomorrow? Um, no, we should be there. Okay, and then your address, is that on the front of the house or is it on the curb? Um, we're on right above the garage on the, on the eaves. Okay, great. And then last question, is there any gate codes or your security area or is it just open? No, there's a gate, but uh, it'll be unlocked. Okay, great. There's okay, like a gate out front. Yeah. I'll be there. What time did I say again? Uh, 4.30? 4.30, that's right. Okay, so I'll be there at 4.30, and just remember to tell Margaret that I'll be there as well, and I will see you then. You have a great night. Will do. Okay. <clears throat> so basically what you want to do is um, find out, you know, if you're working or not. Um, you you want to get them answering yes as many times as you can. That's why I say, hey, I just want to verify you're 64 correct, your wife is 64 correct. Your address is this, because um, the more times that they say yes, or they're um, getting used to saying yes, so that time when you just assume that um, they're going to make the appointment, just give them a give them an option of two times. Um, it's very important to make sure that if they're married, if they're both working, if they're one of them's working, one's not working, when they get home from work, because uh, you want to make sure that they're both going to be there. And then once you figure that out, if, if they if they say she's going to be home at four o'clock, I usually give about a half hour window to get them, let them get home and get settled in a little bit. And then I'll tell them, okay, I've got a 4.30 or a 5.15 and give them the choice of making two uh, two choices on, on which, which time to meet. And uh, once they do that, I just, I just assume the meeting and set it up and, and then confirm. Um, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. I, I try not to make it too complicated. Um, let's go over let's go over the same one, Ron, and give me an give me an objection. Okay, okay. Ring, ring. Hello. Ron. Who's calling? Hey, this is David. I'm not a telemarketer. Okay, real quick. So I, I picked that up from a guy um, 12 years ago and I've noticed it because before I'd be, I'd be, hey, this is David. I'm from the Mortgage Protection Center out here in Mojave County. And I'm just getting that and click. They hang up on me. Not interested. Click. Yeah. And uh, the very first thing I throw out there is I'm not a telemarketer. And you don't know how many times I'll get people laugh at me or I'll say, you know what? I'll just get ready to hang up on you. But once you said you're not a telemarketer, you know, I, I stayed on to listen. And, and, and these same people will talk about that at the at the appointment they're going man i was going to hang up on you you called me like four times in a row and that's another thing too is when you're making your dials um i always dial at least three or four times in a row and what i'll do is i'll let it dial uh, i'll let it ring and then once they get uh i get to the um recording i'll hang up and then i dial back again immediately i let it ring two times and then i hang up and then i let it dial four times and then hang up and let it dial four times again. And usually within those four times, 
they're going to pick up and they'll get a little irritated sometimes. They'll, they'll say hello with like kind of a little aggressive mood. But if you just go right into your script, say, hey, this is David. I'm not a telemarketer. I'm just getting back with you. Um, don't forget about it. And uh, so let's, let's, let's go back, Ron, and give me some objections. Okay, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Ron. Yeah, you just called me nine times. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. The first, the first eight times didn't work. Um, just, I'm not a telemarketer. I'm just trying to get back with you. Um, you uh, filled out this card we mailed you a while back, and it was for mortgage protection benefits for your home in, in uh, Bullhead City. Well, it's not, a, it's not a good time right now. I'm real busy That's, right now. Yeah, I'm real busy too. Just real quick. Um, I'm going to be out in Bullhead tomorrow and I, I've got a little bit of time set aside to where I can come see you. It's going to take about 10 minutes to go over the benefits. Are you working or are you retired? Well, I, I didn't want to say this before, but we already have a guy that uh, called us about this. That's great. Um, but my job is just to get the information out to you. It'll take me about 10 minutes. Uh, what time do you work tomorrow? Um, I work, uh, I'll be home at around 3.34 and I leave early and my wife also about the same schedule. Okay, so I've got a 4.30 or a 5.15 available. Which, which time will work best for you? Take about 10 minutes. Oh, you got to come by the house? Yep. Because that other guy took, did it by phone. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm actually a, an agent that's uh, locals in the area. So you, you can see me face to face. Oh. If you have any issues, I'll come to you, come to your house. You can see well, me. Actually, actually, I prefer that. I prefer face to face. Yeah, it's a little bit more personable, and and you'll know that I'll be your agent for life. So, um, what time is better? Works better for you? I got a uh, five fifteen or a four thirty. Well, four thirty because we usually have dinner by five thirty. So, okay, great. I'll be there four thirty, and just tell tell your wife. What is your wife's name? Uh, Lisa. Tell Lisa that I'll be there at, at four thirty, and um, I got your address is. Uh, one, two, three, four South Main Street. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. My name is David. I'll be driving a black Honda Civic and I'll see you tomorrow at 430. Yeah. Is this going to take long? Like I said, it'll take about 10 minutes. Okay. That's perfect. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, those happen more than not, don't they? Those kind of objections. They happen yeah. 70 of the time, but it's, you really didn't much, get phased. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just saying you didn't get phased by it. You know, it's like if we get defensive or a uh, 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 stutter, that's what always seems to happen when we get objection that we can't handle. But you just kind of rolled with it. You just didn't really think much about it. You didn't get excited about it. You just kind of yeah, you it. Want, go ahead. Make sure you guys mute your phones. Yeah, you want to make sure that you, you acknowledge them. And then you just ignore them and then you just move on and you're not being rude, but as long as you acknowledge them and then you just ignore and get, get right back into the script. Um, Cause your job is just to set the appointment because you're not going to do anything unless you get in the home. Um, another lead, if you, if you, you have that same lead and it was from like six months or a year ago, or you've even got some older ones or a couple years old. Uh, basically you, you kind of use, I use the same script. I just, I just changed up at the beginning a little bit. Um, so let's, let's say we did one that was back in 2020. Okay. Okay. Ring, ring. Go ahead. Hello. Ron. Yes. Who's calling? Hey Ron, this is David. I'm not a telemarketer. I'm just getting back with you. Gosh, probably, uh, about a year or so ago, we sent you a postcard. It was for the mortgage protection benefits for your home in Bullhead City. And that was the insurance that helps pay the mortgage on your house if you were to pass away. Um, does that ring a bell? Yeah, kind of. Um, I, I just think it was, uh, yeah, it was. It, it, I think we're just not interested. We remembered a guy came by and we're just not interested in that. Well, that's fine. It's, it's showing here that, that actually that um, we never did come by to show you any information. Uh, it might have been another company, but my job oh. is just to get out to you. Um, we mailed the or we made mailed the card to two two five seven East Main Street in Bullhead. Does that sound right? Yeah. Well, we're, the guy said because of our age, it's going to be like seven or eight. 
What's that? Be, the guy said it was going to be seven or eight hundred dollars because of our age, and we're just we're on fixed income. We're retired. Okay, that's good to hear. Uh, my job is just to get the information out to you, Ron. Um, we specialize in helping senior citizens on fixed income. So my job is just to get something that's affordable to you. Not only fits your, fits your needs, but fits your budget. Um, oh. I help a lot of senior citizens in my county. Uh, like I said, I'm the field underwriter of the county and my job is just to get the information out to you. Um, I've got some time. You said you're retired, correct? That's correct. Your wife is retired as well? Yes. Okay, what do you prefer? Do you prefer mornings or afternoons? It'll take about 10 minutes. Well, since it's really hot and we'd prefer to meet out in the patio, so probably mornings. Okay, I've got a 9 a.m. or a 10, 15 a.m. Which will work best for the two of you? Well, hell, we get up at five. Let's make it nine or earlier. Okay, I got a 7 a.m. if that'll work for you. Absolutely, that'd be perfect. All right, 7 a.m. it is. Just do me a favor and, and let Margaret know that I'll be there at 7 a.m. Uh, do we, would you like me to bring coffee? You got coffee at the house. <laughs> we'll already have our coffee all done by then, so we'll be good. Thank you, though. All right, so like I said, I got your address. is 1234 South Main Street. Uh, my name is David. I'll be driving a black Honda Civic, and I will see you at 7 a.m. Sounds good. We'll see you, David. Um, one thing I always do is I always let them know what kind of car I'm driving. Um, I, I pulled up in a different car one time and they said, hey, you said you're gonna be driving a black Honda and I was driving a truck. And I said, yeah, well, it's been raining and the roads are messed up. So <laughs> I felt <coughs> I felt it'd be safer to drive a truck than my car. Um, but once again, it's just, it's just a little tweak at the beginning on those. Um, but as far as the flow, the tonality, um, you just want to be very assumptive. Um, don't let anything phase you. That they, if they throw you out an objection, um, you just roll with it. Just acknowledge it, ignore it, and move on. And just get right back to setting that appointment. Um, the next type of lead we have is uh, the Facebook leads. And those leads would normally have a, they'll have either a, um, a favorite hobby or they'll have the beneficiary on there. Um, those ones, once again, it's, it's just basically the same, same script, just a little bit of tweak at the beginning. But on the newer ones, um, I'll call up, say, ring, ring. Hello. Ron. Yes. Ron, this is David. I'm not a telemarketer. I'm just getting back with you. It looks like you were recently on Facebook and you had clicked on our link for final expense life insurance. And that was for the uh, burial or cremation for your, when you passed away, does that ring a bell? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, and then you put down that your favorite hobby was fishing. Does that sound about right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's correct. All right, that was got last a question. Night. That was last night. Oh, I just got a question for you. What was the largest fish you've ever caught? <laughs> uh, it was a, a sand bass. A sand bass. I don't I'm even know what that. I'm sand bass. Okay, wonderful. Well, I'll tell you what, man. When when I get up to your house, you can show me some pictures. Well, my job is is just to. I'm the field underwriter from Mojave County, and I just need to swing by your place for about ten minutes and go over the benefits with you to see what you qualify for. Um. I got your address is uh, 2735 East Main Street in Bullhead City. Does that sound about right? Uh, yes. Okay, great. Like I said, I'm, I'm the field underwriter. My job is just to get the information out to you, see what you qualify for. Um, it's totally up to you what you do with that information, but um, I've, I'll be out there tomorrow. I've got it sometime. You said you were retired, right? That's correct. Okay, so I've got a 10 o'clock or a 12.30, which would work best for you? Take about 10 minutes. Uh, 10 o'clock is fine. 10 o'clock is fine? Okay, great. Now, are you married or is it just you yourself? Uh, just me. Okay, fantastic. And then, Ron, um, are the numbers on your house, are they on the, on the wall or are they on the curb? Uh, they're on the curb, but they're kind of worn out. But my house, is, uh, it's, it's very bright yellow. 
Okay, bright yellow house. And then is there a gate? Is there a gated, a coated gate or anything? No gates, uh, but you can always call me when you get there if you want, if you can't. You know, I, I like to listen to loud music. So if you, if I don't answer the door, just call me. All right, sounds good. Okay, like I said, my name is David. I, what time do I say I was going to be at your house again? Uh, 10. 10, that's right. Okay, yeah, so I'll be at your house at 10 o'clock for sure. Is there any reason why you wouldn't be there? You don't have any doctor's appointments or anything? Nope, just, just staying home and listen to Lev Zeppelin. Right on. All right, Ron, well, I'll, I'll see you at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. My name is David. I'll be driving a black Honda Civic, and we'll see you then. See you then. All right. Um, what else? What about we got, calling, we, calling, mortgage we got calling. Call, uh, Mail Pro does these call-in leads, and I've got some, we got some other companies that do the call-in leads. And basically what that is, is um, they'll mail out a card, same thing, they mail out a postcard, and it's for either mortgage protection or it's for final expense. And, they will, uh, instead of filling out a form, they just call in and they'll listen to a, um, a recording and then they'll input their information. Uh, with Mail Pro call-in leads, if, if they go through the entire phone call and they put in all their information, it's $35 for the lead. If they listen to a portion of it and then they hang up, it's a $5 lead. Um, I don't differentiate in any any part of my script for the hang up or the full lead, I just I just go right into it, and uh, it doesn't matter to me if it's a five dollar or thirty five dollar lead. Um, the way I do those, and these ones through MailPro, it's a little bright colored mail uh, postcard. So I'll go through that with Ron again, really quick. Ring ring. Hello. Hey Ron. Yeah. Ron, this is David. I'm not a telemarketer. I'm just getting back with you. We recently mailed you this little bright colored postcard. It was for the mortgage protection benefits for your home in Bullhead City. And that was the insurance that helps pay the mortgage on the house. If you were to pass away, does that ring a bell? Uh, yeah, I remember doing that. Okay, so stop right there really quick. And, and one thing I do is I don't, I don't ever say it's going to pay the entire mortgage off. Because if you get that in their head and they're 65 years old, a lot of times it, it's going to be too expensive for them to pay the entire mortgage. So I just say it, it helps pay the mortgage. And that is an easier lean, lean way into um, if, it, if they're going for a price and, say, and you'll tell them when you get to the home, hey, we're looking at doing like a critical time period. It's called mortgage payment protection. Um, you're 67 years old. If I was to give you a price to pay the entire mortgage off, you probably throw me out of your house. It costs more than, you, than your mortgage payment is. That makes sense. So that's why I, I never say it's gonna pay the entire mortgage off. I just say it helps pay on the mortgage so your family can keep the home. Um, so let's get back to that. So, so, so we recently mailed you a bright colored postcard, Ron, and it's for the mortgage protection benefits for your home at 1234 North Main Street in Bullhead City. And uh, that was the insurance that helps pay the mortgage if you were to pass away. Does that ring a bell? Yeah. Okay, great. The reason for my call is I'm the field underwriter for Mojave County, and my job is just to get that information out to you. Um, it would take about 10 minutes. Are you working full-time or are you retired? Uh, part-time. You work part-time. Okay, great. And then are you married or are you single? Uh, married. Married. Okay, great. And what about your wife? Is she married? Is she working full time or part time? Or uh, no, she's retired. Okay. Um, what time do you normally get to get home from work? I'm going to be in Bullhead City tomorrow. It's hard to say. I'm. A, I do Uber and Lyft. You know, us seniors need a little extra spending cash, so uh, I do Uber and Lyft. And so I'm not quite sure. I usually just take them when they come, but I don't like to be out at night. I don't see as well in the dark driving, so. Usually, um, I'm in and out of the house up until about 5, 5.30. I like to get over Din Din. Perfect. So, I, I can see good at night. What time do you normally get finished with dinner, Ron? I usually get home by 6 at the latest. And what about dinner? What time do you eat dinner? Like, why I get there and it's waiting for me. <laughs> okay. 
So you're normally done with dinner about 6.30? Yeah, about 6.37. Okay. I've got a 7 o'clock or an 8.15 available. Which, which time will work better for you? 7. 8.15 is too late for us. 7 would be fine. 7 o'clock. All right. And your wife will be home as well, correct? Yeah. I, I better call her and make sure that's okay. Well, I'm going to put you down on the schedule and you've got my number. If that's not going to work, you let me know, but I'll be there for sure. Just let her know this is important. Just okay. let her know that I'll be there to go over the mortgage protection. And what this is, is if you pass away, it helps pay the mortgage. So your wife can stay in the home if you were to, if you were, if you were to die. Okay. Yeah. All she right, doesn't so, know. I'm the one who did it. So, but. All right. So we said, what time do we say we're going to be at your house? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. That's right. Okay, so seven o'clock, I'll be at your house at one, two, three, four South Main Street. Uh, the the number is it on the uh, is it on the front of the house or is it on the curb? Uh, it's on the front of the house, uh, by above the garage. And this isn't going to cost too much. What's what's the average cost on these kind of things? Well, like I said, my job is just to get the information out to you. We specialize in helping senior citizens. Uh, we my job is to find something that not only fits your needs but fits your budget. So we help people all the way up to age 85 to find something that fits their, their, um, their, uh, their budget. Um, we've got a lot of people that are on uh, limited income, so we can find something that'll fit you. Yeah, because I keep seeing these ads, $9.99 for up to $100,000. I'd like to get something that's like that. Yeah, well, I'd like to drive a Ferrari too, and I drive a Honda Civic, so. <laughs> you don't say that. I do. You do? <laughs> I do. So, so All like right. I said, my it's on the fit your budget. And yeah. I, have, I help senior citizens on limited, limited income. So uh, we, we'll find something that works for you. But uh, like I said, my name is David. I'll see you at 7 o'clock. Okay. We'll see you then, Dave. And then on, on those uh, mail-in leads, they have authentic, authentic, I can't even say that word. Authenticity. Yeah, those, those phrases. And they're like really stupid, like cartoon, Congress, planet. I never mentioned the, the authenticity words. I never mentioned that they called in because these are all call-in leads. Because um, a lot of people aren't going to remember calling in. They're not going to remember if they hung up or they, or, or they put information in. But they all remember the bright color postcard. So when you get those, I basically, I, the only thing I mentioned is, hey, we mailed you a bright colored postcard and it was for the mortgage protection benefits. That's the life insurance that helps pay the mortgage if you were to pass away so your family can keep the home. That's all I say. Everybody remembers the, the, um, the bright colored postcard. And the, the $5 leads, I really like those because you, you don't have to mention anything about the phone call. You don't have to mention anything about them hanging up. You don't have to mention the code words or anything. You just mention the bright colored postcard and they're going to remember it. And you just trigger that memory and then just go right into your script. And um, uh, you set the appointment from there. Um, is everybody going to set an appointment? No. You're going to get objections that you can't overcome? Absolutely. But that's why it's a numbers game. And that's why, you know, the, if you plan out your week and you get 100 leads every week, every dial day. Um, you go through the numbers and you're, you're gonna make the dials, you're gonna make the appointments and you're gonna end up making the sales. Um, we went through Facebook already, right? Uh, the other one we have is the internet life leads, the instant internet leads. Um, those ones uh, you get off the CRM, they're 11 bucks and nine bucks a piece. Um, those ones you're gonna spend a little bit more time dialing and, and getting hangups, but it's the same concept. Um, the cost of the leads that you're gonna be putting in, the, the, uh, the investment you're gonna put on the internet leads, let's say you put in a thousand dollars a week on internet leads, you're gonna get a hundred leads. Or if you put in a thousand dollars on mortgage protection leads and you're gonna get 10 or 12 or 15 leads, or if you do thousand dollars a week on Facebook leads and you're going to get you know 75 to 100 um, it, it, the numbers work out the same for the dollar amounts that you spend so mm -hmm. if you don't have a lot of money but you've got a lot of time these, these internet life leads are really good they're like I said they're nine dollars eleven dollars a piece 
And um, there's some different ways you can do that. You can get uh, uh, the phone burner dialer to where you just download the, the um, Google spreadsheet into it and it'll dial automatically for you. So you can get through a uh, hundred dials in an hour or so, a couple hours. Um, but basically what those ones work is, uh, go ahead and uh, I'll, do, I'll do a internet lead. Ring, ring. Hello. Ron. Yeah. Hey Ron, this is David. I'm not a telemarketer. I'm just getting back with you. You um, recently had an online request for some life insurance. Does that ring a bell? Yeah. Okay, yeah, great. I, looking I for just, a million dollar policy. Okay, fantastic. Um, I'm just looking here. It says your date of birth is 11 20, 1972. Does that, does that sound about right? That is correct. Okay, and then you have your address is uh, 2712 Wiki Up Avenue in Kingman, Arizona. Does that sound about right? That's right. Okay, great. Uh, like I said, my name is David. But my job as a field underwriter for Mojave County is just to get that information out to you. I'm going to be in Kingman on uh, Wednesday. I've got about 10 minutes to spend some time with you to go over the benefits to see what you qualify for. Are you working or are you retired? Well, I was just looking for a quote. Could you do that over the phone? Uh, I don't really have time to do that over the phone right now. Like I said, I'm actually going to be in Kingman on, two, on Wednesday take about 10 minutes we can go through i work with about 15 to 20 different companies so i can do all the shopping for you to get as many quotes as you want um like i said it'll take about 10 minutes so are you working or are you retired um yeah i got a pretty heavy duty work schedule yeah i work like crazy too so what time do you normally get off of work uh gee 7 38 7 38 okay i've got an 8 30 p.m or a 9 15 p.m which work better for you um I guess 8.30 would work as long as it doesn't take too long. Okay, 8.30. And like I said, I got your address is uh, 2712 Wiki Up Avenue. Is that That's correct? correct. Okay, That's now correct. You, are you married or retired? I mean, are you married um, or divorced? I'm retired of being married. <laughs> no, I'm married. Okay, and your wife will be home at 7 also? Um, I'm not sure. I think she will. Okay, what time will she for sure be home? Um, that I'm not quite sure. Sometimes she goes and, uh, she goes and helps out babysitting with her sister and that kind of thing, but she usually, usually it's home by eight. So she's she usually, be. okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and we'll make it for eight 15. I've got okay. eight 15 to squeeze in between appointments. So it's, we're going to have to make this one a quick one. So we'll be, we'll be there about for 10 minutes. Sure. And that sounds good. Your, wife, your wife's name is what? Um, Lucy. Lucy, okay, do me a favor, just let Lucy know I'll be there at 8.15 tomorrow. I need you to both be there, and we'll go over the life insurance for you. And then uh, I got your address, like I said, it's uh, 2712 Wiki Up. Is that on the on the wall, or is that on the on the curb? Oh, uh, it's on the curb. Okay, and then is there any gate codes to get in, or are you live? Well, I'm in, a, I'm in a gated community. Um, there may not be a guard there that late, so... Um... I think he closes the door at eight o'clock sharp, but um, I, I go through that all the time. What's the gate code? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's uh, it's 1902. 1902. Okay. Perfect. And you got to hit the, hit the pound sign after the, after the two. Right. Got it. Okay. So yeah. So just let Margaret know that I'll be there at seven or I said eight o'clock, right? That's correct. Okay. I'll be there at eight o'clock. It'll take about 10 minutes. We'll go through everything and uh, we'll get you taken care of. And I'll be driving a black Honda Civic. And my name is David. Okay. All right. Cool. Click. Um, anybody have any questions? How do you handle, I get a lot of, uh, I get so many voicemails and disconnected numbers and people I can't get a hold of. How do you handle those? Go out and door knock. Okay. So door knock on the disconnected one. What about when I just get nothing but voicemails? Do you leave a message? Door knock. I've, I've, my biggest sale I've ever made was on a door knock. I wrote uh, a mortgage protection policy for like $138 a month. I wrote an accidental death policy for, I think it was $28 a month. And I wrote a $230,000 annuity all in the same house off a door knock. And what about if I'm calling leads that are out of my area? 
then you can do those virtual or you take a road trip. Okay, so like like if they don't pick up, you know, like it, like if I call leads that are like eight hours away and I get like seven or eight of them or just don't pick up, do you leave a message with those? I absolutely leave a message, yes. And okay. you wanna leave something short and sweet, just um, say, hey, this is, this is Ron. Or yeah, you're Ron. <laughs> hey, this is Ron. Um, I've got a delivery for you. If, if you could just give me a quick call back. Um, I'm trying to see your address. Your address is uh, one, two. I can't really make out the other numbers. Can you just give me a call back and let me know what the rest of the address is? And it's on uh, Wiki Up Street in Bullhead City. And then leave your phone number. Because that, if, if you make it kind of vague and, and just tell them, hey, we have a delivery for you and um, say, hey, you know, I got your address down here, but I really can't make out the whole address. If you can give me a call back and, and verify it. Um, nine times out of 10, they'll, you'll get a call back and they'll say, oh, you know, what are you delivering? Or I've got to get, uh, you know, what's, what's, what's my address that you have? And well, this is what I can read, but I can't read the whole thing. Can you verify it for me? And then just go through and verify the other information. Um, you can verify because then you can tell them, well, I've got your, your birth date is 11 20 72. Um, your zip code is 86401. You put your phone number down, it's you know 928, blah blah blah. But at least that way, you can get them to spark that interest to get them to call, to get them to call you. One thing, David, if, if I might add, you, you guys make sure that when you do leave a message on something like that, save their contact information in your phone, like John Brown, Mortgage Protection, Phoenix you know, or whatever. So like when you're in the, the line at Target, they'll call you back. Yeah, you call with a delivery. And you're like, yes, who is this? You tell me, you called me. And they start acting that way, right? And then you'll lose them. And all that's gone for nothing. And you finally got a hold of that people, you know? So if you could, if you got it on your phone, I actually take a picture of the lead and I put that as their contact picture. So I got it right there in front of me. So I can, when they call back, I know who's calling already. And that that's a quick, easy way to do it. And I tell you, I've, I've really, you know, I've gotten a lot of callbacks on those and everybody wants something. So that's just a tip for you guys. It's worth it. Anybody else have any other questions? How's it going, fellas? Hey, Vernon. Yep. So I just thought, are you using Ringy? Because I just started using Ringy. And so we, I turned on all of the different ways that they can contact you. So when someone calls me, their name will pop up. So I can see them right away and say, hey, Joe, you know, and then kind of go through my little spiel. So I don't know if anyone in this group is using Ringy yet, but I started using it. I just started last week, so I'm super new to this. But um, Anna helped me with that. Anna and Mac helped me with that. So anyway, this one uh, there's, sense. there's a lot of those apps and things that you can use that, that really help out. I'm almost 60 years old, dude. I'm so old school right now, <laughs> you know. I still print out all my leads. I write on them. I, I go to the homes. I don't do anything over the phone. Sure, sure, sure. And, um, but, uh, you know, I got some guys that are very successful in, in using Ringy. Um, I, I don't know if you guys are all aware of Ethos. It's a new company that we're doing business with where basically um, you don't have to do anything. You just sign up with them and you can send out emails, just like a generic email. Hey, um, Mine says, uh, Family First Life Paradise invites you to apply for life insurance. And if they click on the link, it just opens right up to the, right up to the uh, quoting tool. They put in their quote. And if they like it, they click on it. They fill out the application. They never call me. They never text me. They never do nothing. All of a sudden, I get a, I get a um, notification. A notification, an email. Oh, uh, Vernon Smith just... Um, applied for an ap application for $250,000 in life insurance. Oh, Vernon Smith just got approved, you know, nice. follow up with them. And so what happens is, let's say, Vernon, you you go through the process and you start to fill out the application and you just stop and you, and you click out of it. Mm -hmm. Ethos will call that client and say, hey, Vernon, we noticed that you were applying for life insurance. Did you have some, some complications? Do you need any help with it? And if you if you clicked out of it because you just didn't you didn't have uh, didn't have the the, the know how to get through the entire application or just you had an issue, 
they'll walk you through it. And the next thing you know, you're getting a notification that it's approved and they, they, they never call you. Huh. There is a, like a agent contactless um, uh, policy that you can write and you can send these out to email, email them out to every client that you've ever had that you've got emails on. You can post them on, uh, on a link on Facebook. Um, I mean, there's so many different ways. I, I just, I just got contract with them about two weeks ago. And prior to this call, I sat down and I went through a lot of my older leads that were Facebook leads that had the emails on them. I just copied the email, put it in the link, sent it out. I did a hundred within about 45 minutes. Nice. Um, and I, I, I checked on my ethos link prior to getting on here and I've got like with my, with my agency, but I've got about nine applications that have already been approved and get, get That's paid on. Cool. Okay. Ethos. I'll look into ethos. So, um, look, look for that. Uh, you should be getting emails for the links for the portal and it's very simple to sign up with them. It's probably just the easiest one to do and you don't have to do anything. There's no phone calls. There's, there's no nothing, no phone script. You just click and go. So, any other questions? Thank you. Appreciate that. You bet. All right. Well, if we don't have any other questions, then that'll be it for the day. And you guys have a wonderful Labor Day. Um, stay safe out there. I don't know about you guys, but we had a nasty storm over here yesterday. We had like 50, 60 mile hour winds and rain sideways and all kinds of stuff. But you guys enjoy your barbecues today. But like I said, uh, today is probably one of the best days to make dials because people are home and they're happy. Um, so between barbecuing and hanging out with your family, make some, make some phone calls and let's make it. Guys, thanks so much. Take care. Thank you. You're welcome.